welcome back to another tutorial video. Um, so in today's tutor uh, tutorial video, I will be showing you guys how to make um, bound armor, I believe it's called. And this is actually per request by um, someone who left a comment on my last video. So if you guys want to see the last video, it will be at the end of the video um, or something. But anyway, um, so what we're going to need here is something called the Soul Armor Forge. And 24, you'll understand why it's 24 in a second. Here, here, 24. You'll so you need this thing called the Soul Armor Forge. And to make the Soul Armor Forge, it will be uh, four filled sockets, stone, and a magician's blood orb in this order because it's a shape crafting and you get the soul armor forge uh, to get the uh, magician's orb you need to put a block of gold into a tier 3 blood altar which I do not use because this is my test world and the entire world I play in creative um, so yeah that's why this is a thing so what you do is you put the filled sockets okay um, you put the filled sockets around the soul armor forge like so uh, in this case because it's a um, helmet I'm just going in order throughout the well I'm gonna do this in creative so really I only need one of these but you would need about 24 and then see you just click you right click the soul armor forge and you got yourself your bound helmet now you have bound helmet great uh, the next piece that you need is evidently the chest plate one of the more important parts now you're probably thinking gray shouldn't the armor shouldn't the chest piece or shouldn't the armor forge be in the center now I'm gonna show you this one uh, a little ways away. Forgot about the Andrew block. Uh, yeah. So if you were to do it with the Soul Armor f Forge in the center, um, just like that. Well, that doesn't even look like soul armor. That doesn't even look like a chest plate. That is actually the recipe for the pants, because as you see here, bam. So, that's how you make the pants, and bam, there's the chest plate. Now, I know it could just be using the, uh, freaking, what's it called for the... That's not actually gonna work, so I'm just gonna. And of course, there's your boots. That just found the void, but yeah. Um, that was pretty short, so I'm actually gonna do two tutorials here. Uh, the first one was the whole bound armor stuff. Um, I'm gonna get the bound boots because technically I did it, so or technically I made it. And that's how you basically get the uh, bound armor. So pretty short, uh, pretty easy to do. Just need a lot of filled sockets. And um, how you make a filled socket is you actually take an empty socket and put it into a blood altar that is tier three or above. And to make that, you need weak blood shards, diamond, glass. So it's pretty expensive because you can't get weak blood shards without I actually don't know how you get weak blood shards I think you have to kill mobs with some sort of weapon or something and they have like a small chance of dropping it yeah I'm pretty sure that's how it goes um so anyway I guess the next thing by the way in case you are wondering I'm using the Sortex uh, texture pack found on the uh, launcher FTB launcher so you guys can go and do that 
And by the way, this is actually a tier 3 blood altar. Because you'll see here, uh, sack, artificial orb, blah, 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 put some blood into the altar. Give me a second. Um, by the way, I'm doing this in creative, so I just, I'm holding down right click, so it's literally just doing that. Alright, and then we take a block of gold. Here's a block of gold. Put it in there. Keep using the sacrificial orb. And all of a sudden. Sorry about this. It does take quite a bit of time. So please do be patient with uh with most of these tutorials I don't really want to cut it because it's not that's not the whole point of it is if I was to cut it or if I was like to pause here come back afterwards and you know keep doing this there see there we go magician's blood oak and that's basically the tier 3 uh, tier 4 requires beacons I think or that's tier 5 um, but this is actually only tier 3 I think because if we were to take a divination sigil yeah see in the chat down here you have Alter's current essence 12,000 tier 3 and it has a 13,000 capacity so actually um, to get this you would need 30,000 blood so I would probably recommend you put a, a ton of heart canisters or if you're doing this in single player and you have cheats give yourself infinite health boost so then that way you never run out of hearts but yeah um so I guess the next thing that I'm gonna do you guys remember the Vernix matrix obviously it was um there's this one quest that requires the great wood sapling to be made by uh, this but the issue with the great wood sapling is it's instant instability is so dangerous that if you don't have enough essence at all around it like we have all this essence around it but I mean it's literally just one of every essence in Minecraft in the mod pack that is sorry um so that's really about it actually um kind of surprised on a couple things about this and that is the whole fact of the matter <laughs> it looks hilarious um the whole fact of the matter being since the great wood sapling is so instabil in uh, in uh the instability is so dangerously high that if you don't have enough essence and you don't have goggles or revealings to know what it requires like if I was to get a thumb and almond 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 the thumb and almond 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 uh the lost silver wood wand I'm doing this tutorial again only because it's kind of one of the harder tutorials to do. I need a jar. I'm going to need one wood one warded jar and I'm going to need Essenta. I'm going to need Terraria, Igneous, Aqueous, Ordo, that one. Dang. Uh I need air. One of these I actually don't need. Vakos. I don't think I need Vakos. I 
probably need Paradito. So I'm gonna keep Paradito. And I also need Arbor. It's probably something random, but I would technically make a second one of these to do this one, but honestly, I feel like this is something that you guys should see on camera. So, you know what, hold on, I'm actually going to make a second Runic Matrix. Okay, so I set up the Runic Matrix, um, which if you guys are wondering how to make it, it's simple, you use this for, you make a 9x9 nine nine platform using the stone brick, uh, the stone block, sorry. Um, these pillars here are actually a stone, arcane stone brick on top, uh, or a and then you put an arcane stone block. So you're gonna need a lot of arcane stone blocks for this um, project, if you wanna call it that. And it's very simple to use. You just whack it with the wand. You just whack it with your uh, wand. If you're in creative, shouldn't be a problem. If you're doing this actually in survival and you're looking at t uh, tuto the tutorial of how to do this, it's a completely different story, but so yeah, I'm literally just getting these. I'm putting two jars of each essence that I believe require that is required for the Great Wood Stone uh, slap. Yeah, the Great Wood Sapling to be made. Cause believe me when I say this, you guys do not want to leave this Runix Matrix during this time. Cause if you leave the Runix Matrix to do this by itself. And you're not so you're not there to do it with. It's gonna be a huge issue for you in the morning. Um, I feel like there should be more essence around, but I have a feeling it's gonna take some of the essence from that matrix because of how because of where it's built. So. I'm not going to worry about it too much right now, but yeah, that's basically the essence you're going to need, I'm pretty sure. So I'm just going to throw those into the void for now, throw that in the void, throw those in the void, I'm keeping these here. Um, so to make the Riddick, bleh, to make the sapling of which you need, you'll need, not that, you need to go into Sky Alchemy. So you need six witch water, a shimmer leaf, a cinder pearl, and a jungle set. So that's gonna actually require nine uh, slots in your inventory because witch water does not stack as a item. So we'll go one, two, three, five, six. And I need a shimmer leaf. Grab one of those. A cinder leaf. Or cinder pearl, sorry, not cinder leaf. Um, and I need a jungle sapling. So you place the witch water like so, uh, not like that. Um, that was a mistake. Thankfully, the crystals do not break. Uh, if you're wondering why I have crystals surrounding the altar, it is actually because, or not altar, but you know, the, this thing. Um, it's actually because it's the way that, uh, it's supposed to reduce your instability. So the problem is though, with an instability as bad as the great wood sapling, as you'll see here, uh, instability dangerous it kind of makes me hope that it's not gonna be uh, too bad for the video uh, cinder pearl shimmer leaf so I actually need to swap these it's a good thing that I checked them <laughs> I'm pretty sure you can get cinder pearls and shimmer leaves from actually getting uh, reward bags which by the way Still planning on doing a reward bag opening for the actual series. So if you guys are up for that, uh, that will probably be out, I'm going to say sometime next week. Um, 
I am recharging the wand here using the aura nodes because the aura nodes will recharge themselves. So, yeah, I need to find one with the black elemental. Ah, here we go. If I can. Alright, so the wand. Yep, the wand's now at 100%. I'm so nervous about this one because, oh wait a minute, I'm not actually done because um, if you guys see here, well you won't see it right now but you'll see it, uh, sorry I had to turn that off, you won't see it right now because it's not actually doing a ritual but uh, this infusion process requires 128 arbor essence. So in reality, I actually need to go to the, what I'm calling my essence store, which is every single essence back here. I'm going to find Arbor. Is this Arbor? No, that is Bestia, Corpus, blah, 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 blah. Where is freaking Arbor? Who would have thought Arbor would have been this hard to find? Gray, just bring it. I don't actually think I put Arbor. Huh. Weird. Hi, chickens. Don't ask why those chickens are doing that. They're just there. Hmm. Ah, here we go. So, what I've basically done here is what I call the creative glitch. Which is where, since you're in creative, you just break a jar. Oh, God. Oh, I just lost that, so I'm going to break this jar really fast. Put three jars. So I'm actually going to take... I'm going to do three of each jar instead of uh, two. But Arbor is going to have four because Arbor is a very hard element. Hard. Um, to deal with. Another jar of water. There we go. Grab another jar of fire. Oh, sorry about the little lag there. I don't know what that was all about. Um, green. Okay, so now we should have enough to hopefully support this. Now, what I would recommend having is have quite a bit of blocks uh, ready. I'll just use black wool. So. Because what's going to happen is when I activate this, the entire runix will shake. Or the matrix will begin to shake and it will shoot lightning. So the probability is, what I'm thinking here, is going to be that um, items will fly off the edge. Or the item, that is the items that are on the edge. So actually, I'm going to move you back there because then that way I can do that. So, I'm hoping... Okay, so what I'm actually going to do here is I'm going to do a quick wall around this part right here because of how a thing is acting. Or how this thing will act. Is I'm just doing a wall around the entire matrix, basically. So that way no items can uh, go flying off and you know then I have to spawn it back in because in a way the matrix is basically on a timer so yeah that's our little support that's gonna basically prevent any items from flying off into the void which will cause me to go into create it or go into the menu and pull it back out <sighs> now I'm I don't like doing this ritual, honestly. So, yeah. Anyway, guys, um, this ritual will be the last thing I'm gonna do for this video because it's already getting kind of long. Um, so yeah, hope you guys enjoy the ritual. See ya.
So in case you guys don't understand what's happening, I know I said that I'd already see you guys in the next video, but um, I'm just going to explain what's happening here is that the Matrix is basically absorbing the Essenta that surrounded the uh, Matrix and is taking in it, or it's taking it in to try and calm the Matrix down. Now, as you guys saw, when the thing was beginning, it kind of ex it knocked the witch water off which in turn um, should be doing this so that way I have a better view of it like see that one just got that one actually just got obliterated um, crap I wasn't prepared about the complete obliteration of items should be good otherwise I'm not seeing anything else off so yeah, that can have that will happen occasionally. Is it will actually, you know, be like no, I don't like it, and completely obliterate the item. Sometimes the item will just get knocked off like it did with this witch water. Other times it can completely destroy the item like it did with the um, thing just then. So now what it's doing, it's basically going backwards. It's going from. It's actually going on the side here. You see it, it's going to go auto next, which is the white element. Elementa, sorry. But yeah, that's basically what it's doing. It's basically just absorbing the Essenta to, um, you know, provide for the actual ritual that will happen. Um, see, now it just took in the white elemental. So when that one's done, it will start, you know, taking the black elemental in. Um, Paradito. I'm pretty sure it's Paradito, right? Please tell me it's Paradito. It is Paradito. Yes, Paradito. So yeah, uh, it is kind of a risky ritual because if you aren't around and it doesn't you know take in the essence and just decides to you know fling items off before actually taking it in as part of the ritual this is why a backup is because that's what it's gonna do after this after a paradito hits zero is it will start to take in items but the problem is at the same time the essence value the essence values will begin to go to one at times where it will take in more essence so it's a risky thing like see okay right now it looks like we're pretty good oh and by the way the nice thing about this one is you always get your buckets so it's not like it completely takes in your thing but it doesn't seem to be doing it right now so it's probably because I have backup of all the essence and there we're done beautiful we have a great wood sapling now. So that's basically how you guys make the great wood sapling is with six buckets of witch water, um, a shimmer leaf, and a cinder pearl. And you got yourself a great wood sapling. And the nice thing is about great wood saplings is when they grow, they have plenty of wood. And I believe silver woods, which is this tree right here actually contain aurora or notes um, I think if you break leaves with like it or something I don't know it's weird but anyway guys that is gonna do it for this tutorial video I know it's kind of a longer tutorial but to be fair I did three tutorials in one so probably not gonna have any tutorials till mm, late next week around this time I think tutorials will go up on Thursday or Friday, depending on if anything is going on. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, hit that like button down below. If there are any tutorials that you would like to see me try, doesn't mean I will do it, but if I, I'll attempt some sort of tutorial. Uh, leave a comment down below with, you know, can you do this sort of tutorial? Now don't do anything that's in vanilla like don't just say oh how do you make a cobblestone generator 
Done. Cobblestone generator. Bam. <laughs> it's like easy. This is mob grinder. Too easy. Don't try and don't say something like that. Give me some sort of challenge. Like I don't know. The for me, I never really did bound armor till I saw. Till I kind of saw a tutorial on it. Bound armor is kind of easy to def do though, so not really a huge issue with it. Uh, blood altars, meh. I prefer not. I'm gonna say this. If you guys are about to leave a comment that says, "Do something more with blood," I'm gonna say no because I've done enough blood alter stuff for a while. So, I'm gonna say if you're gonna do that, I'm gonna not do blood alter. Um, but you got all these other projects to choose from. You got reactors if you want to see something with reactors maybe i'll do that but yeah guys uh this video is getting long enough already so hope you guys enjoy <laughs> and i will see you guys in the next one bye